Egunon guztioi, tami esker, UPV, EH, UPV, this summer contest. For me, it's a pleasure to have the invite by the chair of the conference to participate in this presentation. Buenos días. Como subdirector de los cursos de verano, me corresponde el honor de participar en la inauguración del Congreso Internacional Estudio y Análisis del Contexto Tecnológico de la Nao Victoria en el marco de la primera circunnavegación de la Tierra. Congreso Ariasira Mateco, Mayan de Tuvo Gureki, the speaker is repeating uh, the same thing in Basque first, then in English, and then in Spanish. Congresuco susendaria. Congresua Juan Sebastián Elcano, Victoria Nauan, e Inda Colem Munduco, Viraren, Bosgarren, Mendeurrearen, Atarian, Antola Tzenda. We're going to be speaking about now Victoria, and we're going to carry out a study and analysis of the technological context of the uh, now Victoria in the framework of the first circumnavigation around the world. We're going to be analyzing the technological evolution that occurred at the time. We're going to be dealing with scientific work based on archaeological research carried out in different uh, areas in the world. Like, for instance, in Urbieta, Guernica, the Basque Coast, Barcelona, and Cavalier with the Mer in the Mediterranean, airport in the UK or Red Bay in Canada. We hope that attendees presenting their papers will receive English a now. good feedback from the audience, that we can assist and participate in interesting discussions, and I'm sure that you will learn a lot from the research. And of course, I expect that you enjoy your time in this beautiful building of Miramar Palace, and also in the city of Donostia, which is beaches, romantic downtown, and famous cook. Thank you very much. Jarraian, Xavier Alberdi, Congresuko Zuzendariak, Duitza. Egunon guztu joi. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here this morning and sharing this morning with us. I would also like to thank the organizers of this conference, the people working for uh, summer courses uh, at the University of the Basque Country. And of course, I, I would also like to thank the provincial government of Gipuzkoa. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. And therefore, I am very grateful for that. We're here today. Um, and I think that in this room we find the main experts in um, naval architecture in uh, the Middle Ages and the beginning of modern age uh, in the world. So it is a pleasure for us to have you all here. And again, I thank you for participating in this conference. I hope that uh, today and tomorrow's sessions will be very fruitful to all of us and will enable us to draw some conclusions together, uh, at least some general interesting conclusions about a topic which is what uh, brings us together here and we believe it's very interesting, especially because we're celebrating the fifth anniversary of the first circumnavigation around the world. And um, we believe, therefore, this is the right time to um, uh, highlight the role of the Basque technology um, in this event, in this historical fact. And we believe this is also a good opportunity to um, gather, to um, collect all the, uh, all the pieces of research that are being carried out all out the world concerning uh, archaeology and concerning uh, naval architecture, Basque naval architecture and shipbuilding. I don't believe this is a chance uh, because um, we the, the presence of Basque wrecks in the Mediterranean um, is obvious and I don't think this is just a coincidence. We also find them in the European Atlantic Sea and uh, in America. And um, 
one of the aims of this conference is to analyze that moment, uh, high middle ages and the beginning of the modern age. Um, because it was a time when uh, the Basque fleet was uh, one of the main fleets in Europe and um, uh, this is explained by, uh, precisely by all the wrecks that have been found out uh, all over the world. As I was saying, we uh, have here the main experts in wrecks, different moments in time, different types of uh, ships, and um, I think you have in your hands the agenda of this conference. Um, let me mention all the speakers. Uh, we have uh, Brad Lowen here, who is going to be speaking about that technology technological change that occurs in the Middle Ages and modern age. He will also speak about um, wrecks in Canada uh, later, uh, tomorrow. Uh, we also have with us a number of other uh, main uh, speakers, like, for instance, Toby Jones, archaeologist, uh, who is responsible for the magnificent uh, work carried out in Newport um, wreck, a ship dating from the 15th century that was located in Wales. We also have here um, Eric Reef that is going to be telling us, uh, together with Manu Izaguirre, about um, uh, the ships, uh, largest ships uh, of that time. And uh, he will be concentrating on Urbieta's wreck, which, as you know, is a, a smaller boat. But uh, uh, it's also important, of course, that was located in Guernica. We also have among uh, the speakers uh, Xavier Agote, who is a person responsible for the uh, reconstruction of uh, an exact copy of uh, Now San Juan in Albaola. He will be giving us some keys about um, uh, naval and uh, shipbuilding at the time. We also have uh, with us. Um, Xavier Vicedo, and uh, I don't know if I'm missing, yes, we've got Xavier Vicedo, I mentioned this, he's a re person responsible for um, uh, the Mediterranean um, excavations, and he will be telling us about um, Basque wrecks in the Mediterranean area. He will be making a comparison between the different traditional um, ships that uh, were built in the Iberian Peninsula. We're also going to be having some posters by different researchers working in very specific fields concerning um, shipbuilding and uh, related to the Basque Country. I want to make the most of this time to tell you that um, we won't be having, unfortunately, we won't be having one of the speakers, Marion Delay, uh, who uh, was scheduled to come and talk to you uh, later this morning about uh, ca the Cavalier wreck. Unfortunately, as I said, um, he couldn't make it here. And uh, therefore, we're going to try and uh, reschedule uh, our morning. Uh, and to the different presentations, taking this into consideration. Um, uh, that's all for me, I think. And I now hand the floor to uh, Denis Ichaso, Deputy for Culture. Thank you very much, Javier, Igor. I'm very honored to be here. Uh, I thank you all for um, spending your morning with us today and tomorrow, of course. And uh, I would like to thank the University of Basque Country and the Naval uh, Museum for organizing today's conference and uh, summer course. Um, we're celebrating the fifth anniversary of the first circumnavigation around the world. And this uh, is the land of Juan Sebastián Elcano, uh, Guipúzcoa, and the Basque Country uh, are taking a qualitative leap 
We are very ambitious concerning this event uh, because we want to disseminate more and better our uh, maritime heritage, which um, needs to be uh, better known, and I want to uh, underscore here that there are very serious institutions that are now working not just on dissemination of what we already know, uh, the knowledge we already have. Uh, I would like to mention here Albaola, the new foundation Mundo Mira. Um, John Irurthun is its um, director and is here with us. Um, we also have the Aquarium of San Sebastian. The uh, provincial government also has um, two services that cover all the museums and Gordalua, which I believe you're visiting this afternoon. We're making a great effort together with the uh, Naval Museum to disseminate the knowledge better and to generate new knowledge because we uh, know that uh, when we celebrate such an anniversary, of course we want to highlight the figure of Elcano himself, but we also want to tell the world that there are still many things we need to know about what he did. Um, I'm sure that um, films will be made about the event and um, formats that uh, I believe that type of format will help us disseminate um, better uh, that uh, uh, exploit he carried out. Um, but uh, I also want to admit that uh, in the academic field, in the academic world, we still need to know more about it so that uh, um, Elcano um, uh, deserves to be better known. Um, since we believe he, he represents a whole tradition of men and women with different roles, had some knowledge, some intuition, and uh, the technology of the time, and uh, make the most of all that to uh, carry out that achievement. And this is what we're here for. We want to uh, analyze that technology and uh, the construction techniques they, uh, that we used at the time, and maybe we can tackle the construction of a rigorous copy of that now, Victoria, that managed to sail around the world. All the institutions I mentioned, um, of course, also Albaola, uh, and I want to highlight that they celebra recently celebrated the International Maritime Festival that reached out to more people, generated curiosity, and um, made this topic something very attractive um, from the uh, tourism viewpoint. Uh, we're all tackling this fifth anniversary um, oh, 500th, sorry, anniversary, and we're all eager to know more about Juan Sebastián Elcano and about the shipbuilding techniques used at the time. Um, that's all for me. I would like to thank you all for being here, all the speakers that, want to, that are going to be um, speaking to us. And of course, I would like to uh, thank all the institutions of Gipuzkoa, because you're all working in a very ambitious way, very, in a very motivated way around this topic. I would like to thank all of you, individuals who are related and who are um, um, sharing their knowledge with us uh, in order to reach out to the audience and to the citizens um, in different formats, like PhD thesis concerning Elcano and uh, his uh, time and uh, all that context that generated the technology necessary to carry out uh, the circumnavigation around the world. And that's all for me. Uh, I hope this course is very fruitful. Thank you very much.